In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the fundamental changes or updates to the 3D Connection device support in 3D Code 2021. Let's start by going to the Edit menu under Preferences. You can go to the 3D Mouse tab. You'll no longer see a large list of options here because 3D Code now leaves this to the extensive software that the device provides. I'll demonstrate that by hitting the Menu button on the device. In Advanced Options, you can change how the navigation works, the navigation modes, rotation center, and the speed of each individual movement. If you have buttons, you can program them here. So once more, the device software is the only location where you can make wholesale changes for customization purposes. Orthographic mode, zoom speed, if you need a bit of a boost in that regard, you can adjust that here. Also, when you are translating objects, okay, I'll click Cancel. Now, under normal circumstances, you would typically operate it as a camera. One thing to mention, when we are in orthographic mode, 3D Coat automatically locks rotation. This option effectively gives that to you regardless of what 3D connection device you have. If you want to disable that, you can left mouse click and drag to initiate camera rotation. And now you effectively disable that rotation lock. If you want to continue rotating with the puck on your device, you're now free to do so. But once you go back to a stationary view, again, like a front view, when I use my puck, again, it's locked. So when it's in a main view, it's going to stay locked. Once you move out of it, then it's disabled. Let's look at using the 3D Connection device now in order to move the object or to pose our character. For example, if I want to go into the Sculpt workspace, let's say I have a Sculpt object here and I want to use the Pose tool. I want to hover over this and make sure I hit the H key to ensure that I have the right layer selected. Okay, and uh, I'm going to go to the Pose section and choose the Pose tool. I'll choose the line selection mode. Select here to here. Now let me use a polygonal lasso. Hold down the control key to deselect that area. And uh, let me switch to a brush. And I can change it to paint object. So I'm right clicking and zooming. I can use my 3D connection device if I want for this. I'm going to hold down the control key to deselect a certain part. I will come out of orthographic view. I'll go back in just a moment. Hold down the control key. Just touch it up a bit and then we'll smooth it in just a moment. Okay, so I can smooth selection here. Okay, normally I would have to use a gizmo and get it set, move the rotation center or freeform lasso, and those are good, but now we can actually use the device to do it. To enable this, we can go to the Edit menu under Transform Without Gizmo. Let's go to the bottom of the list and choose Transform with 3D Connection Device. The default hotkey for that should be in, but you can always reassign it if you want. I will now hit the N key in order to enable the device to transform the selection or the object. I can actually use my cursor to navigate. Just click and drag to orbit while using the puck on the device to interactively adjust this selection. Let's say I'm happy with that. I can go ahead and clear the selection. On a side note, as long as the object is in surface mode, it will store this deformation change in the currently selected layer. This is all part of the Sculpt Layer feature set in 3D Coat 2021. You could effectively use this as a morph target if you wish. So 50%, let's go back to 100% in the depth channel. When there is no post selection, the device will simply move the entire object that is selected. So I can rotate it, move it up and down, push it back and forth. Let's say I want to undo and go back. I can do that. Let 
One last thing we want to look at is using it in conjunction with primitives in 3D Coat. I'll create a new layer and then go to the primitives tool in the object section of the tool panel. Let's say I wanted to sketch something. I can use trace mode now. I'll first move the object using the gizmo, but in trace mode, as I move the object with my device, it's going to create a traced path along the movement. If I turn trace mode off, it's just going to move the object, okay? But trace mode, again, it's just going to treat it as if I'm trying to sketch with it. Again, I can push it away, go down. And I can rotate with my cursor here. Okay, so it's just a very crude example. But yeah, you can use different primitives if you like. Again, it's going to start here at the center. And so I can just move it around, come out of trace mode. and place it interactively like that if I want. And if I like it, I can hit apply or the enter key and just continue moving the object. So that's going to conclude this look at the 3D connection device support in 3D Coat 2021. Thank you for watching and we will see you next time.